Okay, this is section 11.4, and today we're going to talk about circumference and arc length. So the circumference of a circle is just the perimeter. So I'm not sure why, but when we get to circles, when we talk about the distance around, we call that circumference. On any other shape, it would be called perimeter. And the circumference of a circle is, and we'll use a capital C for that, You there are two different formulas. You can either use 2 pi r or you can use pi times diameter. Both of those will get you the same um, answer. An arc length is a portion of the circumference. Oh, you, circumference. So when we're talking about arc length, we're talking about like how far is it to walk from A to B? So it's not a straight line, so I can't do anything triangular and it's this outside portion of the whole circumference. So I'm just talking about a chunk of it. And there's a formula we use and we set it up like a cross product. So we'll do the angle over 360. So this is kind of like part of the whole circle. And then our arc length, which is our part, will be over our whole circle, which is two pi r. Or again, you can use pi diameter, whichever formula you'd like to use for circumference. So let's use it a couple times so you can see what we're talking about. So the first one says find the length of AB. So we're talking about arc length. So right there, that's what we're looking for. So when I set up my proportion, my X is going to be right there. Um, my 60 degrees goes with that arc. So I'm going to put 60 over 360. And then 2 pi times my radius, which is 8. And when we cross multiply and divide this, we're just going to multiply this diagonal. So I am literally just going to type in 60 times 2 times pi times 8. All that. So 3015.93-ish equals 360 times x. So I multiplied these two, multiplied these two. And then we're just going to divide by 360. So if I just hit divide in my calculator and then 360, it's going to actually use that whole decimal. So I'm going to get a better answer. And this one turns out to be about 8.38. And we were in centimeters, so we will be centimeters. Then you just want to look at your picture real quick and make sure that that answer makes sense. So if this is 8 centimeters, imagine taking that like a piece of string, that length right there. And if I laid it out here, does that look like that could be about 8.38? And I'd say, yeah, that's pretty dang close to the 8 that it was originally. So next one says find the circumference of circle Z. So I'm going to set up my proportion again. Circumference happens right here, so I'm going to put an X there. I've got my angle, which is 40 over 360. That will never, this 360 never changes. It's always a part of the formula. And then up here, we've got our arc length, and they actually gave it to us. They're telling us that this little piece is 4.19 inches. And now this is a pretty simple just cross, multiply, and divide type problem. So I'm going to take 360 times by 4.19. So I'm just multiplying these two and then I'm going to divide by 40. So it looks like my circumference is 37.71, oops, inches, I almost wrote centimeters. And then again, look at your picture and see if it makes sense. If this is 4, does it make sense that the whole thing could be 37? So like there would be another 4 and 4 and 4. Yep, looks like it's going to work out just fine. Next up, last up, says find the measure of so that could also say that could say measure and it could also say measure of RS. When they say measure versus length, measure means a degree. Length means inches, feet, centimeters. You want an actual uh, length of the arc. This one is talking about the degree. So I'm going to set up my proportion. It's always over 360. I don't know the angle this time. That's what I'm trying to find. Arc length I need, they told it to me, it is 44. And then my uh, circumference down here, I'm looking at my picture, and they gave me this measure, which is a radius, so I'm going to use the radius formula, 15.28. So instead of doing pi diameter, I just chose to do 2 pi r. It does not matter which one of these you use, that's just the one I chose. So we're going to cross multiply, I'm going to cross multiply 360 and 44. So 15840. And then on the other side, I've got 2 and pi and 15.8. Sorry, 15.28. Whoops. That needs to be a multiply. 
So about 96.01 uh, times x. So I multiplied these two, got that, multiplied these two, got that, and now I just have to divide. And I get about 164.99. And remember, we're finding a degree, so that is an angle measure. And then I kind of want to just come and look at this and go, do I believe that this could be about 164? Sure do, because it's not quite a straight line. That would be 180. So it's got to be just a little less than that. So this is our arc length formula. We always have our angle over 360. That number never changes. And then arc length, that's always the measure on the outside over your circumference, two pi r or two pi diameter.